Welcome back to the Lego Club Show. A builder's job is never done in a place like Legoland. So let's see what else Gary McIntyre's putting together for one of the raddest places on the planet. Welcome to fabulous Miniland Las Vegas. This is where I first started working. Well, not in Las Vegas, but working on Las Vegas. So these air conditioners up here are the first thing I ever designed. And I built the whole roof of this, actually. All the little uh, satellite dishes and little buildings. That's all mine. So what we use when we're designing buildings and stuff like this is something called selective compression. Um, you can see like right here on the Tropicana, where at the ground floor, it's about 1 20th scale. And as you move up the buildings, uh, the scale gets smaller and smaller. And you can see that like over in New York as well. There are nine different cities represented in Miniland. Las Vegas, Washington DC, New Orleans, New England Harbors, Southern California, San Francisco, Ferndale, Daytona, and New York City. When we're doing a project this big, it takes a whole lot of people. And so I was just one member of the team that worked on this. So I got little bits and pieces of things that I did everywhere. We have to check everything around the park, including Miniland, because sometimes in Miniland, like birds and raccoons and stuff get in and they knock stuff over. So we check this out too. Here's a lady that got knocked over here. There we go. This is one of the most recent models that I built, actually. This is the William Tecumseh Sherman Monument in Central Park in New York City. So, as soon as the park opens, all these little cars are going to start running around. Uh, there's a big computer inside that tells them when to start going. And it tells them by turning on these charge points. Now, if you look under here, these are the charge points. But this is the pickup plate. And so once the car is good and charged up, and it leaves the charge point, these wheels start turning. And then it follows a wire um, underneath the ground. You can see the wheels go back and forth. That's because there is a little radio control sensor up inside of here. So if I put it down, it knows which way to go. So here's one of our latest attractions at the park. It's the Sea Life Aquarium. Let's go check it out. So here at Sea Life Center, you can see all kinds of sea creatures, sharks and rays, and all kinds of other animals. And of course, Lego creations. One of my jobs here is actually to install the new models that go into the park. And I've done a lot of install work here in Sea Life Center. One of the biggest models I ever had to install is this giant submarine down here. One of the heaviest things I ever had to pick up built out of Lego. But a bunch of us had to carry it in before there was even glass in the windows, before there's any water in the tank, and carry it in there and then string it up on these cables. Was... So now we're gonna go meet Bill Volbrecht up at Land of Adventure. He's got an assignment for me today. What do you got for me today? Well, I was thinking we could actually add some Lego balls to the sign. It's a little bit unadorned right now, so I think we could put some uh, Lego jewels maybe on each side of the uh, sign, so it adds a little extra Lego touch to it. Awesome. Think you could uh, handle something like that? Not a problem. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Hey guys. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on my prototype here. I've been working on this jewel that Bill wants me to build. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about the design process. First thing I did was took the concept drawing and uh, started making some sketches off of it. Started using this uh, brick paper here to actually lay out what the shape of it's gonna look like. And you can see that the final shape of the model fits right into that. So this is like a blueprint of what I end up doing at the end. It's not just one solid color. I had to build several different versions of this prototype. First, this one showed me the final shape that I wanted it to be. And then this one over here is what the inside of it is gonna look like. And then I had to build sections for what the outside layer of transparent pieces is going to look like. And when I build the final model, I'm going to make it white on the inside. And then I'll put the transparent red pieces over the outside so that it kind of shines and shimmers and like brightens it up a little bit when it's up on the sign.
So I'm almost finished with this now. I just gotta put a few more rows on the bottom here and then my jewel will be complete. And we can go install it on the sign tomorrow. So I'm just cleaning up, about to head out for the day. It's been another fun day at Legoland. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, following me around. And uh, next time you're at Legoland, stop by and see me. Stay tuned to legoclub.com for more from this super awesome episode of the Lego Club Show.